Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> so guys, today I'm bringing you a new and updated recipe on how to make jollof rice. I know I already have a video somewhere up in my channel on how to make jollof rice, but this is a new way guys. I'm telling you, I'm always open to learn new ways of doing things and this is how I make jollof rice right now and it is amazing. So if you want to change up your jollof rice game, this is the video you need to be watching. And after you watched it, be sure to give a thumbs up to it, leave comments in the comment section down below and subscribe to my channel if you have not done that already please do so right now i love you guys i'll see you all in the next video so here's what we're gonna need some red bell peppers onions ginger garlic and a lot of peppers i like it spicy <laughs> so we'll also use some tomato sauce coconut milk now this is optional but i love it chicken stock and my rice of course so here's the trick guys instead of boiling the rice I just washed my rice so many times until the water ran clear so that way I washed out all the starch from the rice so this is gonna keep your rice from being too sticky when you cook it and then I let it soak for about 10 minutes so that way I did not have to boil my rice I just soaked it for 10 minutes and my rice was perfectly ready to be cooked <laughs> So now I've added some regular canola oil to my heated pot and I'm gonna use that to saute my onions. Guys, I love me my sauteed onions. It smells so good, it is so aromatic. But anyway, today's video is not about frying onions, okay? <laughs> so once my onions are fried up a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and pour in my blended peppers and I'm gonna give this a really good stir and let it cook for about five to 10 minutes on medium heat because you don't want it to get burnt. So just let it simmer for about five to 10 minutes, roughly about that. And after that, I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomato sauce. Guys, today I'm using tomato sauce and not tomato paste. Tomato paste is good for color, but then it has it has that acidic flavor that takes such a long time to cook out so i find that tomato sauce is just perfect okay you don't have to cook it for that long so now i've added my bay leaves some thyme curry my seasoning cubes and i'm gonna finish that up with some salt and i'm gonna give this a really good stir then i'm gonna cover my pot and let this simmer on medium to low heat for another 10 minutes okay so because i'm not using the tomato paste i did not have to spend my time frying this just let it simmer for about 10 minutes just to give the flavors time to get married together before you add your rice and you would be ready to add the rice <laughs> make sense <laughs> so after about 10 minutes of simmering this is what it looks like uh, guys it smells so good okay i did not have to spend all that time frying and frying my tomato paste and my tomatoes okay so this is life made easy <laughs> so now i'm adding my chicken stock followed by my coconut milk like i said this is optional but i love me the flavor of coconut milk and now i've added my pre-soaked rice like i said guys i did not parboil my rice i just soaked it for about 10 minutes and washed it really good and it's it's okay you don't have to parboil it i'm telling you it works perfectly that way you your rice is gonna be the perfect texture so now I've added some extra onions and I'm gonna cover this with some foil just to make sure all that moisture gets trapped in there I'm gonna cover this and cook this rice on medium to low guys medium to low heat okay medium to low heat for about 20 minutes until my rice has absorbed all that moisture and it's perfectly cooked and this is what it looks like after about 10 to 15 minutes 20 minutes actually of cooking so now I'm gonna really fluff it out a little bit just so you guys can see what it looks like you see <laughs> it looks good it is perfectly cooked it is not mushy at all so now i'm gonna cover it again and this time around i'm gonna jack up the heat to the highest and i'm gonna let it burn for about 10 minutes okay so this is what gives it that authentic party flavor that everybody loves so i'm gonna let this smoke out for about 10 minutes and this is what it looks like guys look at all that smoke <laughs> it is gonna be so smoky guys okay it is gonna be so smoky and flavorful so this is it guys your party jollof rice is ready it is perfectly ready look at all that smoke it is smoke town smoked out <laughs> anyway guys thank you for watching this video go ahead and try it out try this method out and you'll definitely love it it is amazing 
so this is what it looks like thank you for watching and guys like this video leave comments in the comment section down below and let me know what you think share this video with your friends and your family and if you have not subscribed to my channel now would be the perfect time to do it go ahead and hit the subscribe button and support a sister okay <laughs> i love you guys i'll see you all in the next video